About uh, two and a half hours ago, uh, the six crew members uh, gathered uh, together uh, in the small vestibule connecting uh, the Soyuz spacecraft and the Poisk module for one final opportunity to uh, say farewell to one another and uh, to offer their best wishes to the departing crew of Ford, uh, Novitsky, and Torelkin uh, before they entered uh, their Soyuz vehicle to close the hatches and begin the preparations for uh, the undocking that is coming up shortly, leading to a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 10.05 p.m. Central Time tonight. As you can see uh, from this video, again, uh, the Hatches uh, between the two spacecraft were closed at 3.38 p.m. Central Time, 4.38 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the final farewells taking place as uh, the departing crew made their way into their Soyuz vehicle to begin their final preparations. Once the hatches were closed uh, between uh, the two spacecraft, uh, the vestibule, this uh, small passageway uh, between the docking interface between the Soyuz and, and Poisk uh, was depressurized. Leak checks got underway almost immediately. Uh, the crew uh, then uh, received uh, approval from uh, Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov outside Moscow to uh, don their uh, Russian Sokol launch and entry suits. That took about 40 minutes to complete. They then strapped themselves into their respective seats in the descent module, the centermost section of the three-compartment Soyuz vehicle. Uh, they strapped themselves in with Torelkin on the left seat, uh, Novitsky in the center, and Ford on the right. The uh, suits underwent their own uh, brand of leak checks. Uh, they are airtight, as is the uh, vestibule and the docking interface be between the two vehicles. Uh, about uh, 25 minutes ago, the International Space Station maneuvered into the undocking orientation. Uh, the crew reported it was in great shape and ready to begin the journey home for a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan a few hours from now. Once again, this is video that was recorded about two and a half hours ago as uh, the crew members, uh, the departing crew of Novitsky, Torelkin, and Ford said goodbye to the uh, Expedition 35 crew, uh, soon uh, to be a three-man crew on their own for the next two weeks. Commander Chris Hatfield, NASA flight engineer Tom Marshburn, and Russian flight engineer Roman Romanenko. There were final pictures taken, as you can see. Some final exchanges of words and well wishes uh, from uh, the remaining crew on board of Hatfield, Romanenko, and Marshburn to the departing crew. The uh, crew entering the Soyuz, uh, in fact, enters into what is known as the orbital module, the uppermost compartment of the Soyuz uh, that uh, contains uh, the facilities and uh, some legroom uh, for the uh, crew members to uh, stretch out a bit, as well as uh, the forward docking mechanism that will be powered up uh, just a short time before the undocking here that's coming up in just 22 minutes. Once uh, the crew made its way past the orbital module, they made their way into the centermost section, the descent module, closed the hatch uh, to the upper section, the orbital module, and then began uh, that series of leak checks uh, as part of the preparations uh, for the undocking that is coming up a short time from now. As we watch the replay of the uh, farewells and hatch closure that took place two and a half hours ago, the International Space Station is currently flying 254 statute miles above the Earth, moving uh, just off the uh, eastern coast of Africa in an orbit uh, inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, moving from southwest to northeast. And now you can see the closing of the hatches as Roman Romanenko uh, was assisted by uh, His crewmate, uh, Tom Marshburn, in closing the hatch. 
And as we said, uh, that uh, ensued a series of leak checks and suit checks as the, the departing Soyuz crew climbed into their Sokol launch and entry suits and made their way uh, into the uh, descent module to strap themselves into their seats. Over the past two and a half hours, uh, communications checks and systems checks have been conducted. Everything has been found to be in good shape uh, with the Soyuz vehicle in preparation for its return to Earth. The crew, uh, in a very upbeat and jovial mood, often catnapping at times, relaxing and getting ready for the high-speed uh, return to Earth that will result in a touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan, about 36 uh, statute miles to the northeast of the remote town of Arkolik at 10.05 p.m. Central Time this evening.